Joyce Grenfell, George Cole, Beryl Reed, Irene Handel, and Alastair Sim, both as a stressed out headmistress and her dodgy brother, The Bells of St. Trinian's was a quintessentially British comedy of the 1950s. An Arab sheikh sends his daughter to St. Trinian's. He owns a famous racehorse, and it's not long before everyone is trying either to to back it, to rescue it, or to steal it. In the meantime, the girls run amok, brewing gin in the science lab. And the staff, well, basically, it's carry on Rodine. <laughs> Although he won an Oscar for a major war drama, The Bridge on the River Kwai, Malcolm Arnold has a natural feel for comic timing perfectly suited to the outrageous behavior of the students in England's most notorious girls' school. This comedy suite from the Bells of St. Trinian's features one piano with four hands, all of them accounted for and belonging tonight to Roderick Elms and Alastair Young.
Well, they do say the school days are the best days of your life. Roderick Elms and Alistair Young enjoying revisiting their youth in full school uniform and not on their best behaviour, playing the comedy suite from the 1954 film The Bells of St Trillian's, written by Malcolm Arnold. Malcolm Arnold celebrating his 82nd birthday in a couple of months' time. Percussion in pigtails and trying to keep them all in order. Ruben Gamba, complete in headmaster's gown.